Well, it was very clear, and it was clear in the meetings that the party leaders had uh, beforehand. There's, what, there's big opportunities here mm -hmm. uh, for American investment. The United States wants to support uh, our peace process and create a pr prosperity process. Um, but we need political stability. You know, we need an assembly. We need the DUP to go back into government. Um, it's pretty much obvious. It's there for the taking. I don't know how anybody could look this gift horse in the mouth. You know, uh, I think the DUP now do, need, need to get on with it. The deal between Europe uh, and Britain is done. It's mm. actually a good deal. It allows us to trade into both markets. The Americans want to help us. Let's get on with it. I mean. Sir Geoffrey Donaldson just a short while ago said that the deal does not allow that trade across the Irish Sea. Uh, why is he wrong? Well, I think he's very wrong, actually. Uh, any part of Great Britain would uh, give the right arm, as somebody said in the House of Commons not so long ago, to have the access that we have uh, to both markets. Look, Brexit's not good. It's not good for anybody. I'll continue to make that argument. But in a bad Brexit, this is a very good outcome, actually, for Northern Ireland. Uh, we have an opportunity to create jobs. We have an American president offering to help us bring jobs outside of the United States. Is there any other country in the world where they're doing that? Um, and Geoffrey Donaldson doesn't see that's a big opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. Now, in that meeting that you had with with uh, President Biden, what did he say about returning power sharing? What, what kind of what kind of language did he use? Well, he was very clear that there's a massive economic opportunity. Uh, I reminded him that John Hume used to say that the best peace process is a job, uh, and he agreed with that. Um, but he also was clear too that we needed. Uh, political stability and it's we've got one half of the story here we have the the economic opportunity um, but without political stability it'll be difficult uh, to create jobs and um, it should not be very difficult to do this and Colin in that meeting with, with the president when he talks about this kind of inward investment was there any sense that you can have this investment when but this investment's only there you know if it doesn't go, if the power sharing doesn't return. Well, I think uh, he's clear and the American administration are clear that they want to support us anyway, and that's why he's appointed uh, Joe Kennedy as the economic envoy. But I think what they're saying very clearly is that to make the best of this opportunity, you have to have political stability and the institutions working. Um, I think that's kind of obvious anyway. And even set all that aside, what are we saying to the people who are languishing on hospital waiting lists? I mean, our health service would uh, make a third world country blush at the minute. And it's not, we're not saying that this can all be solved overnight by having an assembly, but we should be in there trying to fix it. And, you know, there are the people we should be thinking about as well. And when the DUP say they're not going into government over some technical aspect of a trading deal, I, I just think people think they're mad. Yeah, well, 25 years ago, political leaders made far more difficult choices than we're being asked to make today. It's a very easy choice to make. We're all very, you know, grateful for the 25 years of peace that we've had. It's been a remarkable achievement. But I think my generation and generations that are coming after are now saying, what's next? Yes, we need, you know, more stormment. We need the place working. We need all of that. But, you know, there are large areas of Northern Ireland that have been left behind. And there are many people now who are thinking about the future and a different kind of constitutional setup. And that's a conversation that's happening as well. All of this needs to be happening uh, with reconciliation at its heart and bringing people back together and getting people jobs and getting the, uh, uh, our public sector working. Um, but this is a, a very moving uh, conversation now. Mm. And I think it would be a mistake for people like the DUP to stay out of it.